Hey, awesome people of YouTube, welcome back to another Warhammer 40k Dark Tide video. In this one, we are showcasing a little more melee uh, build that can take bosses out. There is frontline, you know, anti elite, but primarily melee. But before we get into it, I just want to say if we get to 500 subscribers by November 1st, we'll be doing $50 gift card giveaway. If we reach it by November 12th, we'll be doing $25 uh, gift card giveaway. So let's subscribe and let's get to that 500. All right. So let's get into it a little more about the build. Well, there's a few different primary weapons you can uh, use. You can use a cleaver. You can use a, a shovel. You can use a boink, a.k.a. A club. I went with a cleaver because grinding stuff to get another uh like a shovel or stuff is just unfortunately will take a little too much time so i won't be able to get a veteran going as fast but let's talk about a primary we already seen it from the yesterday's video it is clark mark for cleaver that is good damage good pan good first target good uh decent cleave not the greatest mobility but that's okay uh, increased melee damage against specialist is what you want. Uh, stamina you don't. Another perks that you would like is damage against unyielding enemies and maniacs. For um, blessings, savage sweep is alright on this weapon. You know, bash is also okay. Uh, but if you're using something like a club, uh, skull crusher, where target receives. Stacks of increased damage if they're really staggered and last for five seconds is massive and thunderous targets receive stacks of bitterness on hit something like This The uh, battle mole and slap shot. You can also you can also use this, you know perks are good Blessings are good. Obviously, they're not the best because you can get up to four stacks, but it's still decent You know if you don't want to use the uh, mole and shield and you just want to get a, like a club, you want those blessings and perks, but obviously higher uh, version of the perks. But for our secondary, we're going to be using the Blast Tomb Mark Three Grenadier Gauntlet. Uh, melee damage is low, but, you know, we're not using it for that. Um, blast Radius is decent. Blast damage is great. Penetration is oof. And ammo is oof. Again, I just... I went through so many of them that it like, just was too much. Something like this would be slightly better if the melee damage and blast damage were swapped. If it was 80% uh, blast damage and 45% melee, this one would have been a god roll. But as you can see, the blam is like the damage for heavy and light attack. I mean, it's it's a melee, so uh, attacks. But for perks, you want damage against carapace, arm, uh, carapace armored enemies and damage against maniacs. Uh, reload speed is also okay if you, you know, spamming it a lot. But for perks, you want shattering impact, where tug receives four stacks of 5% uh, bitterness on direct projectile hit, last five seconds. And the best one would be pinpoint. 8% uh, power every 0 0.4 seconds while aiming, stacking five times just charges all stacks upon firing so you can get what is it i believe 40 percent more power if you just aim down sight for like two three seconds massive fortunately i don't have that perk and trying to roll for it would just be way too too much for me since i'm not meaning ogren but i kept the glory hunter so you know more toughness only kills curious our final is slightly better we have toughness. Obviously, you want the higher toughness. As max health, toughness, and damage resistance against gunners. Exactly the perks you want. I uh, obviously you want the higher damage against gunners. For our other one, health I got, but honestly, all you really want is literally just this Redeemer's Gilded Hand with blessings, perks everywhere, just higher toughness. Maybe you can get rid of on one of them you can get rid of gunners and go for like bombers but that's the curious you want cosmetics you can run whatever you want it doesn't like truly matter for the build but let's get into bread and butter aka the perks 
Obviously the best perk for Ogren is Heavyweight, 30% damage against Bulwarks, Crushers, Plague Ogrens and Reapers, and also receive 30% damage reduction against them. Massive. In case your team is getting a little overrun, you can try to aggro the Crushers, Bulwarks, Plague Ogrens and Reapers and have them attack you, since you have more damage again. Damage reduction against them. We have Lynchpin, Toughness Replenishment, while in Coherence is increased by 50%. Nice, since you can kind of try to tank a lot more, you want that Toughness Replenishment higher. We have more Toughness Boost, again, more Toughness, more Tankiness. We have Furies, for each enemy hit during the same me heavy melee attack, gain 2.5% damage on your next melee attack. We have the best defense, replenish 25% toughness after hitting multiple enemies with a single heavy melee attack. We have the big friend, the rock, because they're really nice against mutants, you know, the charger boys, so you can just point them with the rock and you get a brand new rock every 60 seconds and you have four of them, you know, so you don't have to worry about grenades. We have slam, 25% impact bonus and melee attacks. Obviously take more tough, you definitely want to take as many toughness damage reduction as possible because as Ogren you already have the base 20% and you can get three of this giving you up to 50% toughness damage reduction which is massive being able to tank. We went with the indomitable ability allows us to charge, uh, charge through the enemies so in the horde if your team gets a little too uh, overrun you can use that to stagger the enemies and knock them back. Also, you get 25% attack speed and 25% movement speed for 5 seconds. Now, if you charge into monstrosity, it stops. We have Stomping boost, uh, Boots, replenishes 10% toughness per enemy hit with Indomitable. So in a horde, and you don't have much toughness, you, repl you can replenish all of it. Uh, we have Pulverize, applying 5 stacks of bleed on enemies hit by Indomitable. So you rush through the horde, that are, or a bunch of elites, uh, specialists. You get bleed. You know, not only do you stagger them, push them back, but you apply a bleed, which will take down their health, giving you more damage. We have batter, inflicts plus six stacks of bleed on heavy melee attack, so you can uh, get bleed and slowly wither down the elites and the boss. You know, you apply some bleed for a little more damage, and then you just go ham on the like the boss or monstrosity. You have bone breaker aura, heavy melee damage, uh, plus ten percent heavy melee attack damage for you and your allies' coherency. You know, so if you have like the Zealot who is primarily melee, you usually will do some heavy melee attacks. Boom, there you go, massive. Here's where we get more toughness, and in the second, 10% uh, toughness damage reduction, which is massive. Uh, I forget where that one. It's somewhere around. Uh, actually, no, you'd get two, I believe, yes. Because uh, another one is somewhere around i don't remember to be honest actually let me let me show you where it is there's first one there's more health oh i remember where it is it is right here uh so yeah you get all three i apologize we have the light and destruction 10 percent damage resistance per bleeding enemy in melee range stacks six times so if you charge through a horde you get well up to sixty percent damage resistance because you can ha you have more bleeding enemies, or if you charge through a bunch of elites and specialists, again you can get up to sixteen percent more damage resistance. Massive. We have dominate thirty percent rending for ten seconds on kill. Pretty nice. Here's the the other toughness damage reduction giving you that giving us three of the toughness damage reduction giving us that thirty percent extra. We have impeccable. With 15% damage reduction while charging a melee attack. So a tanky while we charge it up. You don't have to fully charge it, but you know, you get that damage reduction. We have heavy hitter, 5% damage for seven and a half seconds on heavy attack hit. Stacks up to five times. So you get 25% more damage on heavy attack hits. We have just getting started. While heavy hitter is at five stacks, you gain 10% attack speed, so you can continuously do heavy hitter on like monstrosities and stuff. We have unstoppable while heavy hitter is at five stacks. Toughness replenishment for melee kills is increased by 10%. And heavy hitter's duration is increased refreshed by light attacks. So you can get five stacks of your heavy hitter and then just do light attacks. So you get that 25% more damage. 
if you don't want the brutish momentum, but you want something like smash him, well, I would take that one off and put smash him because in smash him you get replenish 25% toughness after hitting a single enemy with a heavy melee attack. So, let's see. Here's our heavy attack, you know? And here's our regular uh, charge, not a fully charged. We'll do a letter again. Boom, 1200. And we'll apply some bleed. Now let's do a fully charged melee attack. Boom. One, uh, one hit and then just do some bleeding. Now let's use it on the big boys. The carry piece armor. We'd fully charge it. Oop, I hit it twice. But you can see the bleed damage is not massive. But you can do just... You know, you stagger the crap out of them, and boom, they just slowly bleed out. If you're getting overrun by the enemies, what you can do is you pull out your blast to them, and you push them back. And boom, he's pretty much dead, and anything will kill him. If I had pinpointing, this would have been a lot better. You can also use it on the horde. Unfortunately, there is no... Too much compact enemy, so we use it on this three. It will kill the ones in the immediate area, but it'll push the other ones away, so you can use it as more of like the boom, you see, just push them away. As uh, kind of like a helping help stuff in a horde if you get overrun. But remember, if we can get to 500 subscribers by November 1st, we'll be doing a $50 gift card giveaway. If we get it by November 12th, we get it. We'll get to do only $25 gift card. So do share this video. Let's get the subscribers up. And uh, there will be a run after this. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be telling you why they turned things, how I did it. With that said, uh, thanks, controller. But don't forget to awesome. I'll see you next one and enjoy the run. <laughs> All right, awesome people of YouTube, welcome to the run of the build. But while we're loading, I just want to say that, remember, probably already said like 50 times, 500 subs, 50 bucks giveaway, November 12th, or if we reach it by first, November 12th, we'll be doing 25. We have Double Psyker and the Vet. Ooh, that was a bit of a rubber band. They have some nice outfits. Victor... Okay, apparently he DC'd. Or he just dipped out. But this is uh, Damnation As As Ascension Riser 31. Or Raid. This dude wears Skamasar uniform and... It just looks pretty nice. Hopefully we get... Our other Psyker back. If not, that is what it is. Alright. Ooh. Come on. Uh. Oh, we got. Uh, what you call it? Smokey, the other ogre. That's right. He seems to be rocking um, Molen Shield. So. We'll be fine. We might not be able to do much. Ooh, sniper. As you can see, just. Ooh. Okay, unfortunately, I got the aggro. And I got grabbed. Oh, nice. And we're doing some damage, applying bleed. You know what? There we go. We just pushed the back a little. And 
We didn't get the kill, but we did some bleed. Unfortunately, we were not in the greatest of spots. So... And it was aggro between us and the other uh, Ogren, which is actually what you kind of want to do. Is you want to get the aggroed. Okay, so, well, literally he got headshot. Uh, you're more tankier. Normal, if it was like any other person, they would have been. Uh, oh, flap. So, we're gonna try to just. Oh. Luckily, we have two Ogrens, so we can just, as you can see, just bombard this place. Okay. Oh. We got lucky because uh, the Psyker that was left is the Psyker that's, uh, which one call it? Uh, Smite. So he allowed us to CC stuff. Huh? If we didn't have him or the second Ogren with the uh, Boom Boom, it would have been a little bit different situation. I would have to go in and use Mel. I just wanted to use Boom Boom. Which is not always like great. Sometimes you need to go for the melee. But it's fine. We have. Ah, I thought it was the flamer. I need to grab some ammo and stuff. No, my dude. We did take a nice chunk of the flame damage or fire damage, but there's not much we can do, you know. I mean, I could have waited out an extra second, but that's okay. Good. I just used up a lot of them and normally I would let uh, our Smokey or Vet grab it, but I was really low. So next ammo will be for them unless I use a lot of the ammo. Aw, oh, dang it. I thought I was going to be cheeky. Damn smite. Our smitey boy is doing pretty awesome job. He allowed me to carry the which we call it, the the charge, the battery, without having to stop too much and well, do much work. That's a lie. Not do much work, but uh, allow me to carry it with a bit of ease. And as an ogren. You want to do those stuff. You want to carry them because, uh, what call it? Oh, you're Ogren, and uh, well, you can run faster than other car uh, characters carrying it faster than veterans, zealot, or psyker. Because, well, you're goddamn Ogren. You're you're massive. We're about to be able to continue to the next side. Where we will have to oh, mess with the inter uh the planetary gear, I think. Or not planet the, the the you know what I mean. I'm I apologize. I 
messed it up like 50 times. Please don't. <laughs> don't bully me in the comments. I'm joking. Um, we have ammo box over here. Which is not bad. No, no, no. Oh, he's messing with it. Which is nice. As an ogre, I try to mess with it a little more. Because... Unless I'm defending from, like... Big stuff. Psyker or a veteran will be able to provide more... Um, whatchamacallit? More value. Like a sail. Psyker be a lot better or veteran that ppp's because they'll be able to hold the sides i mean if you are a gun uh, gun lugger you can still do you can still uh hold the sides as the ogren there's nothing against it i'm just stating that most uh like of the the psyker or zealots or veteran builds well not most but at least the cycle you have a lot of like uh, stuff to deal with big packs. You have smite and you have uh, a sail. Which well, is really nice dealing with uh, big packs. A sail because, you know, they're. Uh, the, the seeking bees or crystals, whatever you want to call them. Um, oh lord, there's a sniper over there somewhere. Smokey with a nice nade. If you don't want to use a big rock, a grenade will be massive for uh, dealing with the big boys, you know, or a lot of enemies. As you can see, this allows us to just... Allows us to uh, get rid of some damage a little more. Be it via CC them. Or just shit up exploring them. This is why I like the knife a little more because of the cleave. Which is really, really nice. Okay, and you don't have to go with it if you don't want to. And boom, here's the lead done. With the boy, uh, with the club or stuff, you can just stack them a little easier. So, versus a knife. <laughs> knife is more of dealing with, at least in my preference, dealing with like bigger packs or at least dealing with them faster, smaller mobs. Versus dealing with uh, dealing with what you call it, uh, bigger enemies. Cause yeah. Oh no, I was about to say, didn't we come from there? Oh well, that was a special of the grenade. You can. You hit an enemy, and then you just, uh... Ah, oh, damn. Oh, I messed it up. I messed it up. It works primarily best on the big guys. I messed it up. <laughs> Don't do what I do. Don't do what I just did. 
and just charge into the enemies. And that doesn't work out as well as you might think. Uh, oh, there's a battery. Damn it. I messed, I messed up by the first time I accidentally pressed the left mouse button to throw it. But... The other times I was just kind of goofing around, which... We got play Gogan. Boom. As you can see, we have attack. There you go. Hey, and we got an achievement. I'm in charge, which is as a, oh, we bull rush and interrupt the play Gogan, which is really really nice. Is, well, that would have been bad. And boom, we help deal with Ogrons. Okay. Ow. Oh, yeah. Just nice. And we throw one right there and one right there. Just eat some enemies around, allowing us to well, get our team a little more breathing room. But you see, we, we stacked a bunch of bleed, we stacked a bunch of uh, stuff on the Contrasted the Plague Goon, and we interrupted him and gave him six stacks of bleed. So we stacked a bunch of bleed and we just demolished them a lot easier. That was unnecessary. It, it took us a little long, but as you can see, we didn't struggle as bad. And he bled. And... Oh. I kind of like to sometimes... I know it sounds bad, but like a little trolley. Especially with friends. Just hit the barrel. And see them eat. Uh, I don't do it on. I didn't do it at purpose at first, but my friend started doing it to me, so you know, payback. Smokey then is down there. Oh lord. Okay, that was a little. We need ammo pretty bad. But, so does everybody. Okay, Smokey is still here with us. But, that was almost bad. I stayed on top with the Psyker because just in case something came up behind us, I could help and it allowed me to heat the boom booms from the top. And be a little safer. And 
There we go. They might... Okay. Get up, get up, get up, get up. This is a bit of a risky situation. I have to make sure my Psyker stays alive on this side, so I'm gonna do everything that I can to protect my Psyker. The Psyker right now is our... Uh, well, kinda key because of the smite. If I can help him stay alive... That'd be great. If he, if we didn't have a cell, uh, not a cell, sorry. If we didn't have a smite psyker, this would have been a, a failed run. Because of, like, he cc I had to wait a second, and then we picked up our, uh, the down buddies. You know? As, like, uh, at first I saw, like, I could pick him up, but I was just getting shredded. So picking him up was not in the best of uh, like, in the best interest, not just for me but also for the team, because I would go down. Like the chances of that me getting shot are pretty high. So if I go down, our uh, our smite psyker might be able to still um, clutch it, which I've, we've seen people being able to clutch stuff. So. That's not the problem. The problem would be is he's by himself now. As you seen, I pushed back a little, allowing well myself to not go down, allow me to stay alive, and then I was able to just swing by and then uh, rescue the team. Ooh, at 645. In the bit, we're gonna reach the, the end. So, able to clutch it up. Him keeping smite active is nice. Okay. No. Oh, everybody's good on ammo. Oh, he dropped the ammo bag. He used the crack granada. Which is nice. What? Bro, he did like a 90 degree turn on a dime. That was crazy. Okay. Thank you. I'm just getting sandwiched. Thank you. Other Ogrim. Uh, don't be like the... Okay, I don't know what's happening on their side, but... You want to try to stick together. Because, for example, if myself and Ogren go down, team has to rush to us to pick us up. Well, in case of an Ogren, he'd be down for 100%, because he has one wound left. And his next go down, unless he medicates it, is, well... He gets captured. But now, he still can go down twice. And we're nearly at the end with 665 plastic and 170 diamond team, which is nice. Which is what we need to get more builds going, because let me tell you, we are low, low, low on plastic. And well, we are, um... Okay. I didn't realize it was going to wait for me like this. Which is nice. Lucky he didn't get that much corruption. Well, he didn't get any. Myself, our Psyker, and a veteran did get a bunch of... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, corruption. Not a huge amount, but... There as well. Our Psyker took the... Took the most. 
Okay. Get in here. Now we just gotta hold it. Here, I don't wanna grab it. I'll grab it. We have the ammo and the healing pack. So holding it the best over here would be like two seconds. And I know update uh, 14 is being talked about. There's uh, like preliminary patch notes, which do let me know if you want to see being covered. But for now, let's get back into smacking the enemies of the Emperor, the heretics. So once we reach 100% on the hold the ground, we'll need to carry the what should we call? Uh, not carry. We'll need to do clear the corruption, and then we'll have to hold the ground again because of the well, there'll be a halfway point. Which is why I kind of don't fully enjoy this one, this one, and uh, the hab uh, investigation, or. Uh, yeah, I think it's investigation. The one where you gotta do a bunch of scanning non-stop. That's the one I don't fully enjoy. Well, one of those two. Uh, scanning a bunch is not bad. It's where there's one map and it's just horrendous. You can get swarmed super easy there. And it will not be great for you. There we go. They initializing the stuff and I'm just gonna hold this. There is no point for having everybody there. I also kinda spaced out and forgot that we gotta do this. Oh and our corruption cleared. So that's not bad. I don't know why our corruption cleared, but maybe it's cause our veteran, I'm not too sure. No, can't be we don't have a zealot, so that's fine. Once they get close, I will be able to reactivate the thing. And I have a bunch of the mobs coming for me, which allows them to get a little easier time. If I paid attention, it would have been with a team. But that's fine. And now we can activate Ascension Riser. And then one more time of holding the ground. And then we dropped another healing. We have two healings total. Well, we have the one that I just dropped and the one by Smokey. I have a question for you all, if you're still watching. Uh, is what type of other stuff would you want to see on Warhammer? Because you know? obviously there's... I don't think I'll be able to keep up the builds for forever. What other stuff would you want to see on Warhammer? Or other games? Do let me know down in the comments or in discord which i do have my own discord the link is down in the description or you can catch me streaming live leveling veteran for now and well, maybe playing some other games the description uh, the link is in the description as well and we stream every day or at least almost every day from 4 p.m eastern down on kit but for now let's make sure we hold our ground as i spam melee because it's just not enough enemies to uh, like, use our blast room. No. Good, but it's kind of a bit of a, as you see, a bit of a waste. Alright. And since we're Ogren, look how fast we run. We're just hella fast. Yeet! Kobe! Ayy! I'm gonna push back a bit because it's gonna do that. Now to keep him protected. We'll be able to carry this a lot faster. 
but that's pretty much it for the run again there's just a little bit left we're gonna have our boy ow okay Okay, our other boy will be able to carry it. And never mind, I was able to snatch it back. It's my football. But that's fine. He popped his combat ability, which allows us to put our stuff. Alright. Our veteran and stuff. Get here. And as always, you want to type GGBK as well. Everybody did awesome, you know, even if they did, even if it's a fail run or not, you still want to tap GG because that's, well, that's the decent thing to do. It took us 30 minutes, it was a little longer, but that's because, well, that's the Sension Razor run. You see, we had Veteran, Double Ogren, and Psyker. So, that was pretty, pretty good for the run. Again, just time it took a little long. But a lot of kills, 1,500, almost 1,600 kills. Uh, come on. I believe we just gotta wait for the load. There we go. We didn't the experience doesn't matter. We got 21 grand with 665 plus and 170 damage team. Not bad. And we got a bull butcher mark 3 cleaver. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed the run. Don't forget to stay awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.